Good afternoon. In this video, I want to show you just how crafty and deceptive the Grace Evangelical Society is. Jack Smack has given out apologies. He needs, gives out, he needs to give out apologies to everyone he's deceived about the gospel. I'm going to show you how, how it's worded. And when you read the literature, it shows more exactly, you know, how clever they are. But here, here at uh, the sole condition for receiving everlasting life is faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ, comma, who died a substitutionary death on the cross for man's sin and rose bodily from the dead. John 3, 16, 18, John 6, 47, Acts 16, 31, uh, Acts 16, 31. You know what they did with that comma? They just have you faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ. They're not saying that you have to believe that he died a substitutionary death on the cross for man's sin and rose body from the dead. That's why it's a crossless gospel, people. All these people will come up and say, Ed, you know what you're talking about? Oh, they, they believe in the, in the cross and the, and, the, and the resurrection. No, not as a basis for getting saved. And yet, John... Uh, uh, Romans 1.16 For I am ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation. What is the gospel? Well, Jack Smack will tell you what the gospel is in, the, in his last video. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ and then trusting him as your personal savior. They're not putting that here, people. They've split it with that comma. The sole condition of receiving eternal life is faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ, comma. Who died? You're not, you're not required to pl place your faith in the fact that he died a, substitution, a substitutionary death on the cross, on the cross for man's sin and most bodily from the dead. That's a doctrinal issue that you can learn about later. That's how clever they've worded it. That's why John 3, 16, 18 is in there. That's why 6 John 6, 47 is in there. That's why Acts 16, 31 is in there without Acts 16, 32. That's the game they're playing. No, they don't say this. No, they do not that. Ed, you don't know what you're talking about. No, no, they're, they're, you know, uh, they believe this. They believe in the gospel. They believe in the you know, death, pain, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Not as a requirement for salvation. That is a very cleverly worded statement of faith. What you're supposed to believe for everlasting life is, is, is faith alone in Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. They leave out the second part. You're not required to believe that he died a substitution of death on the cross for man's sin and rose bodily from the dead. That's not the requirement for salvation. And yet, and yet, uh, according to uh, Jack Smack 77, uh, let me see if we can get up here. Uh, let's see. Go back to YouTube here. He show exactly what he says. Look at John, Romans 1 16. What's the gospel? It isn't just believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's believing what he did also. Ed, it's not a closest gospel. Ed, they have it. Believe in the substitution of death. Ah, they, they changed. They, they've cleverly, craftily deceived you. Let's see here, uh, history. Okay, it's Jack Smack here. My apology to Ben Bedeemed. Who this Ben Bedeemed guy is? He's some wonderful guy. He's popping up everywhere. Uh, Okay, this is my apology to Ben Redeemed and uh, Dying for Jesus. I believe that's his name. The Apostle Paul said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. When we're in spiritual warfare, we're supposed to be attacking you know, Satan, demonic forces, spiritual entities, not one another. So I apologize to Ben Redeemed and to this... Um, Why don't you apologize to everyone you attacked? Not just been redeemed and dying for Jesus. You didn't just attack those two guys. This is a phony man. Dying for Jesus, God, for all the condemnation 
My desire is that they understand grace okay. better. Yeah. That they fully grasp the good news of the gospel. The gospel. We're going to hear the gospel now. And it's not the same gospel listed in GES people, the Grace Evangelical Society. That's not the same gospel. John 3, 16, 18 doesn't talk about anything about Jesus Christ coming to die uh, substitutionary death. John 3, 16, 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that, that whosoever believeth in him should ne not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent uh, the Son to the world to condemn, not to con to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Yeah, there's the first part. What did that Son do? Oh, he died on the cross and rose again. See that? See the verses they cite, people? Why are you being deceived? But I've also learned that hatred combined with lividity are self-destructive, and all you have to do is watch the movie American History X. Yeah, so why don't you apologize to everybody? <laughs> Jack Smack? Why don't you apologize to everybody? What you need to apologize, Jack Smack, is the people you deceive with the crossless gospel. To know that. And therefore, a bunch of non-stop, incessant, you know, online fighting is, you know, fruitless and counterproductive. So from now on, I'm going to try to attack the doctrine instead of the person, unless it's somebody like Paul Washer. But that's another story. Why Paul Washer? <laughs> like, Paul Washer somehow exceptional. I'm going to attack Paul Washer. But here's the thing I'm not going to apologize okay. for. Okay, okay, we're going to hear the gospel now, people. Match it up to the, uh, the, uh, the GES, Grace Evangelical Society. They're not telling you to believe in what Christ did for you on the cross. They're just telling you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Ed, you just, you just, you know, you're just nuts. Ed, you're just nuts. You know, please. It is the simple gospel of grace. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. There we go. The gospel of grace. The gospel of grace. And where is he going to? Paul. Paul buried and rose again. And the Apostle Paul said in Romans... The Apostle Paul! Romans 1.16 I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation. Unto salvation! And what did he tell you was the power unto salvation? The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And trusting Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. The GES doesn't tell you to do that, people. To everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and... So... Put this up. Let's see here. Where am I? Here we go. That's what you get. Jack Smack apologizing two guys. He's been ripping into people for years. Jack apologize to two guys. <laughs> I'm gonna link you to GES and see what they say a false gospel to deceive you. They don't tell you that just that, that first line is what you only have to believe in. You're supposed to just believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Then they have a comment and they say, who did this, 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 this? But then Jack Smack goes to, what's, what's the gospel unto salvation? Oh, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And trust him as your personal savior. That's deception, people. So, let me put, you know, Jack Smack needs to apologize to deceiving people with a false gospel. Amen. Thank you.